Okay, students. I welcome you all once again in an online class. I hope you all are doing great. You all are well. So let's start the work. Let me share screen with you. So today we are going to do this work first, part D. So come to page number 102 of your workbook, part D. Look and write. So use the prompt to write sentences. If you look at this page, okay? So you need to use the prompt to write the sentences here. The word which is given to you as a prompt is louder than. So if you look at the picture, there are two instruments which are being compared. So you will be using the comparative adjective here. So what would you say? This is a trombone and this is a bassoon. So which one is louder? Yes, a trombone is louder than a bassoon. So, you will write on here, a trombone is louder than a bassoon. Okay. So all the students who did not do this work yet, they need to do this work right now, okay? If you look at this one, it's the most beautiful instrument. <coughs> Sorry. It's the most beautiful instrument. So which one is the most beautiful instrument out of these three? Yes, cello. So over here you see that they are comparing three or more. So you would be using the superlative adjective. So you would say a cello is the a cello is the most beautiful instrument. Look at number three here. It says heavier than. Which one is heavier than? Which looks more heavy? A bassoon or a timpani? Yes, a timpani is heavier than a bassoon. Okay. Which one is more deafening than? Yes, these are symbols and this is triangle. So these are more deafening. Deafening means which hurt your ears really badly, right? So the symbols are more deafening than a triangle, okay? So look at the D part, E part now. Answer the questions, give your own opinions. Which is louder? Which is louder, the timpani or the triangle? So they wrote, the timpani is louder than the triangle. So number two, which is more beautiful, a butterfly or a beetle? So which one is more beautiful? Yes, a butterfly is more beautiful. So you would write down here, a butterfly is more beautiful than a beetle, okay? If you look at number three, which is the most interesting instrument, a trombone, a bassoon, or a cello? So which one is the most interesting instrument? You can write any one. Like your option would be a trombone, your option could be a bassoon or a cello. You can write any one. Whatever you think is the most interesting, okay? So I would write a trombone is the most interesting instrument, okay? Next 
object is which is easier to play, a tambourine or a triangle? Of course, a triangle is easier to play. Okay. So this one is done now. Let's look at the next slide. This slide is about the musical instruments, right? So listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. So if you look at these words first, first of all, say these words after me. Zumra, flute, djembe, tuba, handpipes, violin, didgeridoo, snare drum, arhu, and clarinet. Okay, I repeat. Zumra, flute, djembe, <coughs> tuba, handpipes, <coughs> violin, didgeridoo, snare drum, arhu, and Clearing it, okay? So let's talk about these instruments now. First one is Zumra. So Zumra is a musical instrument. So Zumra is a musical instrument, it's from the Middle East and it is made of two pipes that are joined together and you play it by blowing into the pipe and covering and uncovering the holes on them with your fingers. Next one is flute. Flute is also a musical instrument from the Rochester family. And it's a musical instrument that you hold onto the side and play by blowing. Next one is djembe. So djembe is a musical instrument. Yes. And it's an instrument from Africa that you play by hitting it with your hands. Next one is tuba. Tuba is also a musical instrument, although it looks like a really huge instrument but it makes a really deep and low sound. It doesn't make a high sound. Pan pipes. Pan pipes are, again, a kind of an instrument that is made up of number of pipes of different length, and they are connected together, and you play it by blowing across the top of the instrument. Next is violin. Violin is also a musical instrument that you hold it under your chin, as you can see in the picture as well, the girl is holding it under her chin, and you play it by moving a special stick across the strings. Next one is didgeridoo. Didgeridoo is a musical instrument. Yes, didgeridoo is a musical instrument from Australia, and it is made up of wood, that you blow into and that makes very deep sounds. Next one is snare drum. So snare drum is a musical instrument that is, let me see, it's a small drum with metal strings on one side. When you hit the drum, the strings shake against it. Next one is Arhu. Arhu is also a musical instrument with two strings that comes from China. It's an instrument from China and you play it by moving a stick called a bow across the strings. And the last one is clarinet. So clarinet is a musical instrument that is made of wood with holes in it and you play it by blowing into it. Okay. So these all are the instruments. Uh, some of the instruments are from our Chistra family and some of the instruments you see it around the world. So let's look at the next one. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> Over here, you need to write the words in the chart below. Talk about your choices with your partner. Instruments you often see in an orchestra and instruments from around the world. So we will see the words one by one. First one is Zumra. Zumra is an instrument which you find it around the world. Next one is flute. Flute is an instrument which is in an orchestra family. Djembe. Djembe is an instrument which you see it around the world. Tuba. Tuba is a musical instrument from an orchestral family. Panpipes. Panpipes are the instrument which you see around the world. Next one is violin. Violin is an instrument which you often see in an orchestral family. Didgeridoo, as we read about didgeridoos from Africa. Okay, it's from around the world. Snare drum. It's from Orchestra. Next is Arhu. Arhu is from around the world. And the last one is clarinet. Clarinet, clarinet is an instrument around the world. Okay. This is what you need to write down, okay? If some of you haven't done the work yet from 3C students, and especially the 3D students, they need to write on this work. Okay, look at the C part now. Look at the instruments. Choose two pair of instruments that might sound the same. Fill in the sentences below. So the dash is like the dash. What you will write on here, the dash is like the dash. So look at the above instruments. Which one looks like the same? So Zumra looks like flute. Like Zumra, flute, and clarinet, they all look like the same. The snare drum and djembe look like the same. And Wolin and Arhu look like the same. So we will write down here the Wolin is like the Wolin is like the Arhu. Okay? And the next one is. The snare drum is like the djembe. Snare drum is like the djembe. Okay. The volume is like the erhu and the snare drum is like the djembe. Okay, students, that's all for today. We will do the rest of the work tomorrow, inshallah, okay? And I'm sure uh, you are clear about um, all the things which we discussed today. Uh, inshallah, see you tomorrow. And then take care. Allah Hafiz.